Eczema is a really common skin condition, especially in kids, but adults can have it too. It's something that I see every single day. In fact, probably I would say 25% of my day is spent talking to patients and their families about eczema. So it's very, very common. And on one side of things, I can give people some helpful, optimistic information about outgrowing eczema. Because statistics tell us that four out of five kids will eventually outgrow their eczema, typically by age eight. And that's exciting, and that is good. But it doesn't mean that all kids outgrow eczema, and it doesn't mean that we shouldn't treat eczema. Because eczema is super uncomfortable and can affect a lot of different aspects of a patient's life. The itch of eczema is extreme and severe and very uncomfortable for kids and adults that deal with eczema. There was a commercial for an eczema drug that featured fire ants crawling all over a patient's hands. And one of my eczema patients said, whoever came up with that idea has eczema because that's truly what it feels like all of the time. The itch disrupts a lot of things in a young person's and adult's life. It affects sleep in a pretty major way. And in kids, that impact on sleep is huge because not only does it impact the sleep of the child experiencing it, but it also impacts the sleep of the adults who live in the same house. There was a study that show on average, parents of kids with eczema lose an hour to an hour and a half of sleep every night because of their child's eczema and itching. In addition, We've long noticed that kids with eczema tend to be smaller on height and weight growth curves. And we've attributed that to different therapies and, and different theories. More recently, we have concrete explanations for why this occurs, and it boils down to sleep. So even when a child with eczema sleeps, they don't sleep as well and they don't enter REM sleep as long or as often. And it's during REM sleep that growth hormone is secreted. So physiologically, kids with eczema have less growth hormone and therefore tend to be smaller. In addition, growth hormone during childhood is what contributes to bone development. So we've noticed that kids with bad eczema often have an increased risk of osteoporosis, osteopenia, and even fractures. Now we have a physiologic reason for why that is, and it boils down to the growth hormone, and it boils down to the itch and poor sleep. One thing that frustrates me is when I hear from patients and their families that they asked their primary care doctor, pediatrician, family medicine doc, about their child's eczema, and they were told that it will be something the child outgrows, and it's nothing to worry about, and they don't need to do anything, and just go ahead and put lotion on it. This frustrates me because while it is true that statistically a good percentage of kids with eczema will outgrow it, they are suffering and struggling now. So I want to treat them and make them feel better now. In addition, we now have good science to suggest and support that food allergy is actually being triggered by the eczema. So a lot of people over the years have tried to blame eczema on food allergy. And overall studies don't support that for the grand scheme of things for, for patients as a whole. However, I do believe there can be some individuals that are triggered by food. But more recent research shows that the eczema is the cause of the food allergy. Because when you have eczema, you have a broken skin barrier so aerosolized food particles are able to enter the skin. Well, your immune system in the skin is not used to eating food, so it sees these food particles and treats them abnormally, which generates an abnormal immune response that manifests as allergy. There's even a study out of Japan where they found that treating the atopic dermatitis reduced the risk of food allergy. So now we know the best way to prevent food allergy is treat your child's eczema. Uh, and so uh, those are the two big reasons that I take issue with families being told that it's just eczema, they'll outgrow it, you don't need to do anything. A, they're suffering now, I'd like to treat those patients now, and B, we now know that by treating their eczema, we're preventing food allergy.